Hey everybody, trying to hit an intro here and as you can hear the traffic on this road near my house is just ridiculous. Over the last couple of years it just got worse and worse and worse. So I'm hoping and I'm praying that in a few years, you know, maybe if it's longer than that, that'll be great too. But in a few years when, you know, my grandma who's 95, 96, uh, when she's not here anymore, I'm, I'm hoping that we can uh, get her house, fix it up really nice, you know, and eventually move everything that's here out there back to where I, I basically grew up since I was like four years old. And uh, yeah, probably live the rest of my years there. It's nice, it's quiet, a lot quieter than it is here. You know, it sucks because I really like this house, but unfortunately with the traffic and the overpopulation around here and the disrespectful, or, ugh, <laughs> the disrespectful people, you know, I just, it's just time, it's just time, you know, it's like, it's like, hey, you guys won, you can have this area, I'll just go back to where I grew up, okay? And, uh, well, enough said about that, but we're going to go over what I want to talk to you guys about, and that's the DJ i mic comes in a little bag here when you open it up you'll see uh two transmitters and a receiver yep. right there and uh i'm gonna pull one of these out now you don't need to use the uh, receiver to use the uh the mics and i will show you that show you in a second got these little uh wind screens that you can attach to the uh microphone really nice they have about 15 hours of record time so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this record button on the side here and it should light up red for us okay hold on a minute okay, there we go. now this is recording what i'm talking in or whatever i'm saying it's recording so say the gopro goes out I still had the uh, audio on this. Now, it comes with a magnet. Put it up underneath your shirt here. <clears throat> and there we go. Now, I'm probably not going to wear it like this when I'm fishing because even though it's a pretty good magnet, I don't want to knock it in the water. I want to take you out and show you the project boat. Oh, here, first I want to show you is this is the uh, lithium battery that we have for the boat with the uh, quick disconnect. These are nice to have. That way I don't have to unhook it from there. Just pull it out and be done with it. All right, let's go out to the boat. <clears throat> yeah, the traffic is just ridiculous here. It's sad. It's really sad. You know, house has paid off for a long time now. and You just don't want to have to relocate. But unfortunately, trash makes you relocate. I have a lot of good neighbors. I have a good neighbor on... Right here, I have one here. My friend, two friends live up the street. I have a good neighbor over here. But it's this damn road that turned into a highway. <clears throat> and everybody thinks they're freaking fast and furious in their little cars now and have to make popcorn sounds when they go by. They pop, 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 pop. You know, say that for somewhere else. Especially 2, 3 in the morning. Because, I mean, if somebody would come outside and throw a br brick through one of their windows, I wouldn't really care. You know, I figure, hey, you get what you get. Some of us actually have to work for a living. You know what I mean? But it's just so annoying. <clears throat> I'd rather listen to the bass drive by instead of that popcorn freaking car. But anyway, <clears throat> getting off track here. Here it is. I named it the Stump Jumper 2. If anybody reads Bassmaster Magazine, remembers Harry and Charlie, they had a boat and it was called Stump Jumper. So, you know, I wanted to keep it along those roots I could say I guess you could say you know but this is a stump jumper too okay and I actually haven't named that I actually named it stump jumper too <clears throat> okay basically it's a Coleman crawdad that I bought back in 96 never really used it ended up buying a outboard back there that was used on another boat kept that the other boat was rot or wood and it rot rotted out, so cut that up and well, that's, that's gone. And then we bought a cheap uh, 55 thrust Newport motor. It's a transom mount motor, but we just took the screw out of the back here and flipped it around. So now we can use it for a front motor 
All it does here is it's mounted here to the side. Of course, you got to move this out of the way when you take the boat off the trailer so you don't hit the uh, prop on it. Just slide it forward like that. Loosen this screw a little bit. And it should just slide forward. There it goes. And then whoever's in the front of the boat, just pull the handle out and you can adjust it. You know, however fast you want to go. And when you're done for the day, let me set this camera down here. When you're done for the day, just pull it back like so, crank it down, and that's it. <clears throat> Got the new green lettering on the side here. We're all legal now. Uh, new tires and wheels for the trailer, new hubs on the trailer. Back here is where the uh, lithium battery goes, quick disconnect. Got my fuel tank over here. This platform here is for a, uh, a stabilizer pole mount. That's going to go right here. And then that big, white, long 12 foot fiberglass pole. That's actually going to slide. It's going to actually slide down in here and it'll stabilize us. I had something back here before and that held us fine. But <clears throat> I didn't like the way it looked, so we're going to go with a better look. Then we got the transom mount back here. This doesn't work the greatest. So we have another strap to hold the motor into the uh, into the uh, trailer. <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's pretty solid back there for, for what is it? It's basically we call it the plastic tub. And put a bigger transom bracket back here. Hold on, hold on one second. I hear dogs barking. Oh, UPS guys here. Let's go see. <clears throat> Let's go see what the UPS man brought us. Actually, it's Amazon. That'd be pretty cool if they would have brought my transom bracket, or my uh, power pole mount. Not power pole mount. Let's go take a look in here. Be right back. Okay. Unfortunately, it wasn't anything for me. But, oh well. Okay, back to the trailer. Okay, we had to redo the hitch here, new uh, safety chains, and the connector for hooking it up to the Tundra. We'll probably use the tactical Tundra to pull this, just because we're going into a lot of areas where it's pretty nasty. Boat ramps ain't the greatest, and I want something that has a little more meat on the tires. The uh, fishing Tundra, they're more of a street, street kind of tire, so they ain't the greatest for nasty ramps. But the other one has off-road tires, so that shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, there, there, there's the Coleman Crawl Dad, Stump Jumper number two. And I uh, hope by, uh, by next week or so we can get it on the water and test it out and see if it uh, floats or if it sinks. So uh, stay tuned for that.